this week on Scam School. It's a battle of wits and counterfeits. You'll see how clever that was momentarily. It was very clever. This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy. Welcome to the show that thinks it likes you. Like, like likes you. Are you doing anything on Friday? Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Hello all you beautiful people, I'm Brian Brushwood and this week we have a challenge. It's you versus me in a game of wits. Do you have what it takes to pause the video and try to solve my challenge? Or are you a cheater? Spoiler alert, you're probably a cheater. Always cheating with you. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. All right, we have Mike and Heather and Greg. You people are about to go on an odyssey of the mind, an epic journey that will leave you rich and wealthy beyond your fabulous dreams. Or I'll buy you a beer, one or the other. <laughs> Here's the thing, we're gonna play a little game. And in this case, I grabbed 12 coasters that are going to represent 12 coins. One okay. of these 12 coins is a counterfeit. And you know it's a counterfeit because it weighs one tenth of a gram more than all the others. Picture you got like a scale here that can balance between the two and I will be that scale. So for example, if you were to put, let's say theoretically this was the counterfeit and it's one tenth of a gram heavier, it'd be like, yeah, like that. The key is, now if you had unlimited access to the scale, you could easily figure out which one's the counterfeit. Just keep throwing them on two at a time and whichever one goes down is clearly the counterfeit. But in this case, you only get to use the scale three times. If that's the case, only using the balance three times, can you find which one is the counterfeit. Now here's the other thing, is you might just get lucky. You might just say, well, let me just throw one on. And if you got lucky and clearly found it the first time, that would not be a solution. Your solution has to work guaranteed to always, always find it in only three scale uses. Any questions? What's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just jump straight to that. You gotta play it around with it. Yeah, so make me. it work. <laughs> so where's your head at? So we have 12. We got 12 of them, we have three tries. Mm -hmm. And we've got to figure out which one it's weighs no more point. than the rest of them. No, that would be guessing. you got to think. Let's them out. So oftentimes what helps is just jump in with what the most obvious thing to try is. I would do, this is what I'm thinking, I would do them um, four at a time. If I could do it in fours, right, three times, that's right. 12. Right. One of those groups is going to weigh more, right? Right, right. So that's right. going to go down, so then I can eliminate the others. Okay, all right, so, so let's try it. Let's, let's act it out. What would it look like? So I would say it. put so, four at a time. So there we go. I would put so you do four here and four here, and let's say this, yeah, this went down. What do we find out? Right. Then I know that since there's only one out of the 12, right, right that actually weighs more than the rest, That's I would, got, it's one of these four. four. Now, I what, take what, one of those. what and if it went this way, then you know it's there. What if they were even? Then I would just move over to these guys. Aha! So this is good. You actually just unlocked the first key. So you went from 12 down to 4, right. just like that. So let's say they're even, okay. and then what do, what do you do? Keep I'm going to say keep those. keep those over. Well, yeah, I'm going to keep them over yeah, there. Or, or you, I guess you could, or you yeah. could just say get out of there. Yeah, just get out of there. Right? Yep. So now what? We got two more tries. Yeah, so we right? need to do two and two. So when we do two and two, we're going to be left again with one side, which only has two. Then we have a, down to one and one. Yeah, then it gives us a 50% chance of winning, though. Now keep in mind, you've only used the scale once. You have two more tries on the scale. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to burn my second turn on doing two and two. Yeah. I'm just thinking through it. I'm not <laughs> that's saying that's not like right or do. wrong. What else would you like to do? Well, you can do two and two if you want, but I haven't. What would the I'm other option be for well, you? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Three and one, two and one? No, three and one. The three's going to go down before the one, no just matter do what. One and one? Oh my God, look, I'm, I, I'd hate to do this, but I'm gonna let you off the hook because it's so agonizing to see how close you are. Here's the truth, it works either way. If you did two and two, then let's say this one was the heavy one, yeah. then you would do one and one. Yeah, and then you would decide. Uh, I guess 100% of the, the time the other it would option, be The way, other yeah. option is you could leave two out and just do one and one, and then do one and, and do one. one so, so you might get lucky okay. and only have it in two. Right. But that was amazing. Okay. You immediately made the cognitive leap and solved nice. that one. But luckily, I have an even tougher one, which oh, we're gonna do nice. after we take a break. Move, 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 move. All right, let's talk a little bit of magic theory. The most common thing I get asked is what do I do if a trick doesn't work? What do I do if they figure out the puzzle? Now the short answer is go on to another puzzle. It doesn't matter, you got a million of them. That's why you're watching Scam School. But the more nuanced answer is that sometimes you actually want people to figure out the first puzzle so it makes the second one more challenging. You're about to see why. But here's the important thing. Nobody knows what the intent of the experiment was except for you. 
as the magician, as the performer, you're allowed to fire the bow first and then draw the target around the arrow. If someone figures it out, act like that's what you meant the entire time. It's like, oh, this is perfect. You're exactly the kind of person I want for this next experiment. Or you say, yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping would happen so I could teach you this next thing that we're about to do. It doesn't matter. Everything that happens, happens exactly the way you wanted it as far as they're concerned. Speaking of getting things the way you want it, we got a huge deal with our friends over at GoDaddy right now. GoDaddy is our oldest and longest running sponsor and they've got the cheapest domains I've seen yet. .com domains for $2.95. All you gotta do is use promo code SCAM295 at checkout. That's SCAM295. You'll get it for less than three bucks. It's like a Coke at the airport. And you can insult your friends with like nasty domains and support our friends over at GoDaddy. All right, let's learn another puzzle. All right, this time, we get to a much, much more difficult one. I was not able to solve this one. I was able to solve the balance scale three times one. Okay. This one actually fooled me. Here's what I want you to do. Do me a favor, start drawing bags of money. We're gonna label them one through 10. Okay. We're gonna have 10 money bags. Now we had a problem before where we had 12 coins. This time we have 10 money bags. All of these are filled with the exact same kind of coins. However, one is an entire bag filled with counterfeits. Now remember, the counterfeits are exactly one-tenth of one gram heavier than the regular ones, right? In this case, you're not gonna use a scale. There's not, there's not a balancing scale. Instead, you have a gram scale, like a super precise, you set the money bags or however many coins you want on there, and it tells you exactly how much it weighs. But you can only use the gram scale once. Regular coins weigh one gram, the counterfeits weigh 1.1 grams. Which of these bags is filled? You can do whatever you want with them. You can grab fistfuls of one and throw it on there or whatever. And we'll say this is the scale right here. Do, 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 digital. Super precise. These are the, all the coins. You need to identify which one and you only get to use the gram scale once. Now, where's your head at, Greg? Talk it out. What, what are some What are some wrong ideas? In fact, that's usually a good way to solve Randomly it. Randomly choosing a bag. Randomly wrong. choosing a bag. Yeah, that yeah. would be a bad idea because... You only get it one time. That's right, you only get it one time. And if you're wrong, then you're hosed. The only distinguishing difference is the weight. That's right. And I that's only right. get to weigh one time. That's right. So you weigh the coins once, and you're like, I know that this bag is filled with counterfeits. To me, there's no obvious way to mm -hmm. split the bags and just say, hey, weigh it once. That nope. can't, that's not the answer. Nor is it to grab one and weigh it. Because, yeah, you can get lucky, but it won't work 100% of the time. How else would you do this, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Mike's, Mike's like, you're not suckering me in with that. Okay, so it weighs 0.1 grams more than the rest. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. I don't think is really what matters. Oh my God, I'm so thrilled. I, I could say that I don't think you're gonna get it. Tell me this much, at this and point- And this trick has been done on you. Oh yeah, and he could you know, answer and I, I did not, look, I mean, this is my job, think, right? This one was different. sent to me in an email, and I got so annoyed, the guy like didn't give the answer, and I'm like, fine, what is it? And then he told me, I was like, oh, this is so good. You say the same answer every time. Yeah. 100% of the, the time. The idea, yeah, no, it works every single time. I don't wanna give up on this. I don't wanna take forever, <laughs> but I don't wanna give up. <laughs> Man, I hate to say it, but from everything I've heard, I don't, I... I it's it, gonna be very different. It's gonna be like such an obvious answer. It really will. It's yeah, gonna piss you I off. Know. I know, that's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm trying to get my head around though. I'm trying to get away from it. I mean, tell me this much, if I gave you the, at this point, you're frustrated enough that it would be worth a beer to know the answer, hypothetically. I'm frustrated, curious. Curious, curious enough. I might be frustrated. <laughs> Are you ready? All right. Here's what you do. You would grab one coin, from the one labeled one, two coins from the one labeled two, three coins from the one labeled three, four coins from the one labeled four, all the way in there. So you got this big mess of coins. You would weigh it, and the answer would be some number of grams, point the answer. Point one, point two, if whatever. If bag one had the counterfeits, okay. I didn't know then you could it would take be- money out of a bag. Yes, all, all of them so you can. So if it's point one, I, fact, it would be bag if, one. If it's point two, it's bag two. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And in fact, you I heard you take the wrong turn right at the beginning. You're like, well, I don't see any point in taking some coins out of some bags or whatever. I don't think that has anything to do with it. To me, there's no obvious way to split the bags and just say, hey, wait at once. That nope. can't, that's not the answer. And the moment you said that, I was just like, oh, this is gonna be so delicious. <laughs> so basically, you use the number of coins you take from all of the bags to create the identifier, and the decimal point identifies the bag. Dude, Very hopefully good. that Makes was worth sense. the cost of a beer. Sure. Now you can score free drinks forever on now. your friends. Yes. <laughs>
Now, what I love about pairing these two puzzles together is that the first one actually trains them to think incorrectly about the second puzzle. There's every possibility they'll get the first one figured out. That's fine. It's the second one that's going to earn you a free tasty beverage. Speaking of which, I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so post them down in the comments down below. I read all that stuff. And of course, if you want to send me your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at schwood.com. And of course, we should be best friends. So hit me up on twitter.com slash schwood. And we've got gear for the modern rogue over at scamstuff.com. Now you have to make sure to join us next week because this episode, we didn't have enough time for me to explain about boo boo boo. You will not survive. <laughs> Probably not. I will physically murder you. <laughs> That's not worth a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Your tool, it'll be me, okay? Digital. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>